spy. Zheng is a young boy who lives in Hanoi. He was not born in Hanoi and comes from an underprivileged village in the north of Vietnam. He goes to school each day wishing that he could be as rich as the other children in his class. He watches them playing with their iPhones and iPads at lunchtime and dreams that one day he could also have one of the magnificent devices. One day he got an enormous surprise. His father had returned from Japan after being there for three years working for a Japanese company. His father was not a solicitor or doctor, but instead just a simple worker in a factory. Zung did not expect his father to bring back any gifts, but he got another surprise when he pulled out a package from his bag and gave it to Zung. Zung held the box in his petite hands and said, Come on, Bo, before running away to his bedroom. He sat down on his floor and looked at the box. He imagined what it could be, a book, pencils, maybe a bar of chocolate. Then he opened the box and looked inside. He was astounded by what he saw. It was an iPad. It was old and second-hand. It was covered in scratches and dents, but it was his, and he worshipped it. He pressed the home button, and it lit up with the Apple logo. He waited for what seemed hours until it finally switched on, and he could open the lock screen. Zung touched the screen, and it moved. He he he, ha ha ha, he chortled quietly to himself. It was the best present anyone had ever given him. Soon he was getting used to the way the iPad worked and started to play games. He had seen his friends participating and so he knew what to do. Then after playing Plants vs Zombies a few times he opened a folder called Tokyo. Inside he found an app that stored photographs and videos. He clicked on it and it opened. Inside there were photographs of famous Japanese singer and he was giving an envelope to another man. Zung used his fingers to zoom in closer on the photo. On the envelope, it had written, Government Secrets. Zung looked at the photographs and then watched the video. He was shocked to see that the famous singer was actually an infiltrator for a different country. What should I do? he asked himself. The next day he took the iPad to the Japanese embassy in Hanoi and asked to speak with the man in charge. He lingered for almost two hours before anyone came back to him. They viewed the video and were also stunned by what they saw. They shook Zung's hand and patted him on the back for his good work. The singer was rapidly located and put into prison. The secrets he was selling could have devastated Japan and so the Japanese Prime Minister awarded Zung with a gift. They invited him to Japan, and when he arrived, they gave him a new iPad, and more money than he could ever spend. Zung returned home a hero, and his father never had to work again. The family were rich and had many fine things, iPad, iPhone, and even a new car and house. He resides there happy with his mother and father and his new baby brother. They are the happiest family in all of Vietnam and all because of his honesty. The end. Thank you for listening. See you next time.